Hello friends, Damstrong here from Other Miniatures and my swivel arm is still kaput, broken, not really working very well. But yeah, today is 15th, well just started literally, just bomb for the midnight. And today we are doing a Diecast Mafia challenge, a monster truck. So I gonna be chopping probably a couple of cars apart and trying to build something that's gonna look monstrous in its nature. Sorry for covering the camera, but yeah, when I'm holding this by myself, it kind of, you know, screws with everything. But yeah, let's just get on the table and start uh, disassembling vehicles at, uh, well, doing something horrible to them, yeah? Because they're supposed to be monster at the end of the day. Yeah. I think that we have Halloween a bit earlier this year. So, okay, as you can see, I have a small collection of different cars. Uh, first of all, I was thinking, you know, Volkswagen, because you know how much I love them. I have, of course, this monster truck, which I'm probably going to use wheels exclusively from. The only thing, they are hollow inside, which is kind of crap. But yeah, mm, I have this truck, which I'm thinking about using the body from. And then I have this one, which I'm thinking about using the bonnet from. And then I have this one, which I'm using, thinking about using the guns from. And then I have those two for just scrap pieces. And of course I have a ton of plastic art, a toothpicks and other stuff that I'm gonna be using. So... Ooh, uh, I was just watching, I, I was just looking at the car on a Facebook which basically was a truck with a, a front, yeah? Literally just welded on top of the hood from a car like that. And then the back was like a back of a, like a normal car. So I'm just thinking about making this monster in this way, but it is basically just a Frankenstein of multiple different cars. So maybe just, you know, front, back of this car, you know, attached to this in the back. And then this, you know, on the top, and maybe something else. I gonna be honest, this, like, I was thinking about not, uh, real monsters when I uh, invoked this challenge to uh, Diecast Mafia. And, you know, just I watched the movie Monster Trucks some time ago, and I was just like, yeah, that could be quite fun, you know, to build something like that. But now when I'm looking at all of that, I think that this is actually going to survive, the Volkswagen. And then I'm going to just go cut off the front of this car. Just, you know, maybe just cut the top of it, put it on the hood, like I said. And maybe keep the front for the next project or something. And like I said, use the back maybe of this shitty little car. And sorry for my French. As the back of this one. And then we're gonna lift it up, put it on the giant wheels. Um, yep, let's start with it. So, <laughs> where are my precision clippers? And precision clippers, I mean this stuff, yeah? Because we need to get rid of the wheels first of all. There we go. One just flew away, it's going to be easier to cut it off. And now this, there is a screw in here, so screwdriver. Yeah, as I said, this is a very cheap little car. Oh, there are two screws, okay. I don't know, I don't remember where I get it from, but it's not like I really care. So cutting this in here is going to be probably quite easy. Uh, snip. Snip. And then... Probably the same way how those hillbillies who built that other monstrosity that I was talking about did it. <laughs> Not going anywhere. 
Okay. Oh. I know that I have enough force, you know, in me to actually do it, so... I know that this part is gonna be discarded, so I don't have to worry. Actually, I can just do this, first of all, to free myself some space. There we go. So we got rid of the front already. And now let's just mark this as well. Okay. I really wish that I bought the little scroll so that I saw in Lidl. But to be honest, I don't really have space for more equipment. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this off, probably disassemble the rest of them, and I'm gonna be back. Probably, you know, it's gonna be tomorrow if I know my luck, yeah? But I have to, what I have to do, I have to cut off the back of this one, I have to get cut off the bonnet, the hood from this one, and probably disassemble this as well. Mm. Of course, I have to free those wheels and do something with them. And, you know, then we can start gluing this all together. And of course, I need to get rid of that. And maybe cover this, build some sort of suspension. But, you know, building the suspension is going to be for later. First of all, I have to cut everything. So I'll be back after, you know, the saw is already done doing its stuff. So this one was actually quicker than I expected. So now I just have to get this one done. Yep. So I'll be back in five after I finish doing this. So as you can see, I managed to cut this one in half and it's quite clear. I have the window and I have the insert. I will keep this part of the insert as I want it to be inside of the car. And of course, from this one, I'm gonna probably cut out the back insert, whatever. Yeah. And now it's time for this one. So I'm gonna be honest, cutting this one in half already make me regret this idea. So this one probably gonna make me reconsider my life choices. Yeah, especially if there is much more of a metal to cut. And then I'm gonna have to trim it. And I, yeah, I don't even want to go into details. Yeah, I'm gonna probably regret my life choices. But yeah, let's just get on to it. Yeah, so just grab my saw. And you know, I have this, you know, wrapped up in the paper for a better grip and it is, it's not gonna be riding all over my table. And just, you know, go from the top down and really hope for the best because my God, this is disastrous. Yeah, so let's just go. So yeah, I managed to cut this car in half. Yeah, and then I realized something and probably most of you realized that when I was talking about that. This hood is ever so slightly raised. It is a plastic. So instead of spending all of the time cutting this, and you know, if I would continue, I would have to still cut this and this, and get rid of this. Yeah. I can use this plastic hood for that monstrosity. So yeah. Ah, looking at their parts, you know, before is one of those things that I like to do. And today my brain didn't pick it up. So yes, lovely, isn't it? Uh, it might be, you know, the fact that it's after midnight and I'm gonna just put everything on tiredness, yeah? But yeah, I was supposed to be finishing this week much earlier, but you know, different circumstances happen and I have to work a little bit longer. So yeah. <laughs> yep. It's not like I'm complaining, you know? It's a good job. I know that I was complaining about it a lot when I started, but got used to it, got better at it, yeah? And now I have no reasons to complain. Well, I can find probably thousands of them, but not uh, particularly good reasons. So, oh my God, that's so much easier when I can cut stuff with plastic nippers. All right, so let's get rid of that of plastic and that's what's gonna go on the hood so this gonna go in here and then we're gonna have this one 
<laughs> put it in the back. Oh my god, this is gonna be abomination of a car. I love it already. Mm, let's just grab some sandpaper and flatten this one out. Yeah, so the entire idea was completely different. And like I said, it was supposed to be a proper monster, but then, yeah, watching. Being on Facebook, you know, is probably the worst idea ever for me because I pick up stupid ideas from there. Yeah, so this, and then this, and then we're gonna monster, monster track it. So let's first of all, glue the window back in because you know there's nothing to support it so we have to glue it in hopefully my cat hair covered super glue is still working okay it is so there we go we have that in here let it sit for a minute while I prepare the insert so the preparation for the insert is very complicated yeah if you follow this build, you have to remember, you know, to be very careful and, you know, yes, uh, exactly, you know, as, I, as I'm doing, yeah? Just, you know, cut this in half. Oh, come on. Uh, <clears throat> not big enough nippers. No problem. Grab bigger ones. Okay, I can clean up afterwards. <clears throat> oh, there we go. It didn't fly away. No, no, no. That was planned. Definitely. Yeah. And of course, you know, because all of the windows going to be covered or painted or whatever, I don't even bother with doing any painting on the inside. So let's just glue that one in. Actually, there's no point of it. Besides the fact that it's going to just give me co uh, some place to cover the other insert. Well, glue the other insert and, you know, glue the roof and everything else. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so super glue that leaked here, so yep. Oh this is gonna be proper Mad Max car. Yeah, basically nothing nothing matching together. So yep. Uh, roughly like that, but we need to figure out that insert. So let's get rid of that crap. Oh those wheels really hurt my fingers. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's gonna go in here, but we need to get the glass. And the glass have to be cut in here, so let's start. Let it go. Perfect. Yeah. And perfect. Yeah, nothing too much actually cut off, so success. Yeah. I would even say great success. Following the words of the certain Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> Whenever he screwed something, you know, he say great success. Uh, oh my God, who was that? Oh, I forgot. Green? I think so. What's green? Whenever you need those screws, they never show up. So yeah, let's just cut this to size. Okay. There is a poor man's passion playing in the background for me right now. And you know. I'm sometimes forgetting when I'm building something and talking to people. So, yep, the insert is in. You know, I really need it for this wheel well, you know, to kind of present itself normally. So that's the reason for that entire insert. Otherwise, I would just drop it off and don't bother, but you know yourselves. Okay, and now let's just clean this up because it's gonna probably cause some problems. So if we cut it in, 
the problem is gonna stop showing up. And now here. Mm. Definitely something is still sticking out. So well, this is too smooth. Ah, it could be sounding board and This one, probably those ridges are causing issue. Yeah, definitely. So let's just grab the thicker sanding paper. That's much flatter. Mm, still, there is. Okay. Yeah, this is still causing problems. Mm, that's fine. That's fine. Those two services are gonna meet nicely. Slowly, slowly. Let's just give it. So, yeah, I'm giving it somewhat, you know, straight surface, hopefully. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a monster of a stupid car. And I love it already. Yep, and my fingers are already covered in super glue, which you know is a good indicator that we are doing well. <sighs> now that hood, it doesn't have to match, just have to be weird. And it does actually look weird, so that's perfect, that's all we needed, that's what we are looking for as well. At least I was looking for that. And if you are not looking for a weird car, you know, then I don't know what you are doing on my channel. <laughs> because my god, they are weird. And... Come on. Oh, there we go. That's disgustingly stupid. <laughs> and I love it. And now we're going to be using this to mount this on top somehow. Uh, I'm probably gonna cut off like half of that and you know think about those wheels. So give me a couple of minutes I'm gonna get rid of the super glue from my fingers and of course we're gonna have to figure out these gaps in here so we're gonna use some plastic card and so on and so forth. Okie dokie so I cut off this part from this car yeah so it's gonna go of course as the main weapon on the roof because you know gas lamps and I cut out the plastic from those wheels because I couldn't actually just separate them. And it turned out that I cut it out too deep. So I'm gonna have to fix it. Yeah. So yay me. Just happy, happy times. Yeah. But, you know, let's not despair about all of those, you know, lifelong problems of mine. Yeah. Let's just see if this could fix the issue probably close enough but yeah I still have some pieces yeah so I got this from that other monster truck and I actually want to put it in here it's gonna look dumb and I love it so where is my super glue it's here yeah so super glue just tiny amount like always remember to don't abuse abuse your super glue and yeah, just use it in moderation like everything in life say here yeah, kind of sort of ish works so the other side is the other one oh, 
the super glue is just going everywhere and gluing my fingers in. So now it looks like it have, I don't know, some sort of a wing in the front. And I forgot to actually attach this part, which is a, just, you know, front of the entire freaking car. Yeah, otherwise there's gonna be just a big gap in it. So yeah. There we go. And now I have these exhaust pipes, which I... Uh, they are as well part of the engine. I could probably use them, but they are so small and uh, meh. Not monster trucky enough for me. So let's just go with that. And put that in here. So we have our main weapon for that car. Not like it really needs it, as the size of it is the main weapon, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm just stuck my fingers together. So, yeah. Just one of those moments. Okay. Uh, so my fingers are on stock and then we're gonna have to figure out you know a little bit of a stack of plastic art just to lift it up a tiny bit but now a little bit of armor on that yeah like yesterday I just have this plastic art well not yesterday day before that but whatever and you know I just gonna cut it into ribbons And I think that that's gonna be enough to actually cover all of the gaps that I have. And you know, to do the uh, extra armor, because I am gonna be a lazy painter, yeah? Don't get me wrong, but I don't want to deal with extra colors. So I just gonna go with just, you know, chopping plastic card at random and hoping for the best. And it's gonna be black again and metallic, maybe some other colors, but you know, let's just call it again, you know, next episode of the adventures of a lazy crafter. So like I said, you know, if I don't have to do something, I wouldn't, you know, just for, a, of course, if it's gonna be, you know, making the car look better, then yes. But for example, stripping paint for me, 90% mm, of the cases not really necessary. Yep, being very cautious about detailing, you know, like stuff like here, you know, where I have gaps. Again, 90% of cases. Unnecessary because that's what plastic art is for. You screwed up, you cover your mess. Yeah, and it look intentional. And that's the weirdest thing about this entire hobby. But whatever we do in here, yeah, the worse it look, the more intentional it looks. Yeah. Odd. But that's what post-apocalyptic should kind of feel. You know, scrappy and uh, random and odd. So, yeah. And again, you know, I'm starting talking nonsense. Yeah. So, forgive me. It's the that time of the night when my brain is just going I unfortunately got used to somewhat stable schedule and I used to be a night owl completely which is messing with me right now so let's cover that here somehow ah. It's gonna actually cover the window because there is a huge glob of glue there. And we gotta throw this in. And now I can start armoring the rest of it. So the driver's doors. One, two, three. Ah, shite. <laughs> Sorry, I'm learning Irish words, yes? So this was not, you know, curse, it was just me, you know being bilingual mm. 
I'm just showing off, yeah? Showing off my language skills. And if someone tells you otherwise, you know, they are completely wrong. <sighs> um, something like that. Let's cover this side completely. Get in there. You too. Come on. Stick. Stick. Not to my fingers. Uh, uh, my finger just stuck on the table, so... Yay! Awesome. Great. Just what I was expecting. There we go. There is a super glue in the window, so why not? Uh, and of course, back window have to be covered because reasons. And there we go. And next layer of this plates on top of those ones. So one two in here and next layer of uh -huh. let's try it those two kind of get stuck got stuck together by themselves so I didn't even have to do much okay the randomness done I have to throw out this glue because it's done so next one Oh, there we go. Okay, so this have a big, big engine, and with big, big engine, in my opinion, have to come decent size exhaust. Yeah, and you all know that I love those big exhausts on my belts. So. Let's introduce a lot of pipes. Well, not a lot of them, but... Ah, which size? Because if I use something like this, it's going to be too big. Uh, maybe something like that? Is that the same size? I think that this is a little bit smaller. Uh, and that's even smaller. Let's see if that's going to work. Yep. Mm. So, yeah, are they the same size or smaller? That is just a tiny bit smaller than this one. They are not. No, they don't want to fit into each other. So I'm going to leave the smaller ones out and I'm going to just cut this. Maybe, uh, come on, one, two, one, two, or Huh, <laughs> this is this is some sort of an idea. Ah, let's just get rid of that extra super glue. Just gonna spray it off screen. Because yeah, my finger was sticking to that car way too much. <laughs> And I don't want to make the driver a teenager. So, yeah. Mm. So, I'm just thinking, you know, track style exhaust, just sticking up, which makes no sense. Uh, yeah. Let's try a different approach. So, maybe, just maybe. Something along this angle, yeah. And of course, whenever you work with the lighter, you know, be careful because it's hot for a while, so it's gonna damage your fingers if you are not paying attention. Yeah, but you know me. I've been working with that crap for years, so burning myself is part of the course. Alright, so one, two, and you know, I like to have three on the same side, 
but then just looking at that thing it's uh, gonna be too much to have three yeah so I'm gonna have two on one side two on the other yeah yeah I'm gonna stick with two because three gonna be too much And of course, I don't mind, you know, having them squashed at the end. Yeah, it's gonna just throw this, you know, end of the world vibe into the mix. And the fact that they are bent in a very, very kind of crappy manner works to the advantage of the builder as well. Yeah, if I was working with something for like, for example, scale tanks, I would actually use full rods. They are harder to bend because you need to hit them for a longer time. But on the other hand, they don't gonna get this squishy effect. Yeah? Well, unless you screw up. So, yep, something like that. And that's gonna be quite the smoke spewers. Mm. And then we're going to use, of course, the rubber bands to lead it to the front of this thingy. So, yeah. Uh, let's glue the first one. It's going to go... Actually, maybe I can cover the uh, wheel well a little bit. Yeah, the first one's going to go like that to cover the wheel well. Then we're going to think about the rest. So... Now, that's a hard decision where to put super glue on the pipe or on the car. Uh. I'm laughing because either way, I'm gonna glue myself to the car, so yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then to the super glue, and then to myself. Yep. There we go. So then the first exhaust. And now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's enough. You can see. Super glow. And more super glow. So yeah. <laughs> Monster truck. Why did I come up with this idea? Can someone, you know, stop me next time? If you if you see me, you know, approaching idea like that, just just you know, tell me stop, get help. Yeah, that's gonna be better. Uh, so this one in here and this one on top. So again, let's just try this. Do, 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 do. Mm. This uh, all is moving. Stop. Hammer time. Nah. No, 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 no. Back. More like that. Mm. No. <sighs> Seb, come on. This was so nice on the other side. Just... Uh, say like that. And then... It's gonna be janky. Yep, yeah, that's the answer to it. It's gonna be janky. I don't gonna cry about it. Well, this is gonna stock my fingers permanently together. <sighs> so yeah, looks. Uh, yeah, that that's how it looks. Yeah, let's let's stop at that because 
I can, you know, use a couple of choice words. But I don't think that I did really screw it up so far. It just, it's just that point, you know, when you are doubting yourself, when you are like, did I just do all of that crap, you know, for no reason, and I have to do it all. No, 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 no. That's the point where you have to push for it. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back once I find my rubber bands because I misplaced them. All right, all right, back, back. I was sitting like a nom nom, looking around myself, you know, where did I put my rubber bands? And it was just sitting slightly over my head. Exactly the place where I put it. Where I put it because I know that, you know, I usually put them there. Just didn't kind of connect with my brain for some reason. Okay, that was too big. Uh, smaller, 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 but not too small. Probably this... Uh, uh, this ish. Let's try. And that's mm, way too small. Oh, boom. I don't have anything in between. Let's try. Well, I can force it in. So it's gonna work either way. So let's just go and snippity snip. And then, of course, super glue. Like I always say, you know, moderation in here is necessary. Yeah, like I always use moderation with super glue. I never use too much of it. I always use just exactly the amount I need. And then a little bit extra to glue my fingers together. And then, you know, just to be sure, maybe just a tiny bit extra to glue like my hands together and stuff like that, yeah? Oh, okay, let's get this cleaned up. All right, super glue again and stick it like that then a little bit of super glue on the plastic and stick it so we have one now we need another one so boom 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 like that and then we need roughly about this much so you see like I'm showing off all of my cutting implements today And yeah, I know that I usually don't do the, you know, public public health announcements. Yeah, please don't cut yourself and stuff like that because I generally don't have a, you know, very young audience. I generally have people who are working with scissors and they know how to use them. But you know, with the fire, yeah, be careful because you tend, we all tend to get a little bit too comfortable with it, and getting our fingers burned a little bit uh, never a fun experience for anyone so yeah so there we go second set of pipes and now i need an extra one perfection that was a quick cut let's just go with that in here and that's gonna be the top one, so I need this much. there I know that you want to sorry this video gonna be probably like 40 minutes longer even longer because I just cannot get the build done but yeah that's what we get for a longer for you know bigger projects longer build videos I 
probably going to make a short out of it as well. So one, and two, 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 and the other. So there we go. And please, 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 please don't point out that those drivers cannot get out of this car. Yeah, we all know that probably that's the last uh, thing that they are thinking about yeah they have like one functional window in here so yeah probably they're gonna be able to just barely crawl out through that window So again, just a little bit of super glue, like always. And there we go. This look monstrous enough, in my opinion. Kind of became much wider than I was expecting it to be. Hmm. Much bigger in general. But yeah, so we have that. This is okay, this is perfect. Let's just do a little bit of a cleanup, which means basically move everything to the side. And now this. Because we still have to mount it somehow. And if you pay attention, those wheels are crooked now. <laughs> ah, but what can we do? So, plastic card plate in here. To make it flat. And then we're going to be able to raise it up. Uh, thicker plastic cards, thicker plastic cards. Smaller sheet of thicker plastic cards. There we go. So yeah. Just go like that. That's the beauty of plastic cards, you can just snap it. You don't have to worry. Do, 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 so roughly half of that. So, of course, you know, precise measurements are important in our hobby. Yeah, definitely to some people, uh, not to me. And I can just cut it with the scissors. So, yep. Say um, yep, I would say that that's roughly okay. I can just straighten this up a little bit. All right. So now, obviously, you know our best friend have to come to play. Stop it. Get help. And now I'm just gonna have to probably take like maybe three of the slivers of that. And stack them together and hopefully that's gonna be high enough to get the monster track off the wheels high enough so it's gonna actually look decent. But let's just try it. So obviously this is crooked, but yeah. And there we go. Yeah. Eyeballing everything works for me, you know, all the time, like 60% of the times. <laughs> you know, how was it? Every time, 60% 60 of the time, every time. Okay, yeah. If you don't know what it was, it was, you know, from the Anchorman. 
Yeah. So the uh, they were talking about a t t t t t aftershave. It works all the time, sixty percent of the times. So yeah. this up and let's and you can hear the crackling yeah but that's the car pretty much built now I have to black bomb it and tomorrow we're just gonna dry brush it and maybe add some other colors yeah I know that the undercarriage is not look good yeah but on the table, you're gonna be looking at it from this perspective. And from this perspective, it looks freaking uh, better than I was expecting. <laughs> Let's just say that, yeah? Let's stick to a positives, yeah? And we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out. So yeah, uh, I just gonna black bomb it. And of course, for you, it's gonna be a moment. For me, it's gonna be next day. So yeah, see you later. Okay, so black bombing has been completed. Now we have this lovely little black car. Let's start with the dry brushing. So of course I need to get some paint into the bristles. Quick check, it's leaving some marks. So let's start from the front. Let's give it a quick dry brush. It's a fairly heavy dry brush because that's how I want it. So yeah, and, you know, of course, when you look in here, you know, you can stick the entire brush inside, but yep, I won't be complaining about that today. Yeah, this is not going to be dry brushed, it's going to be just over brushed. and pipes sorry if i'm shaking the entire thing because i'm actually just trying to figure out this new setup because i finally got the new swivel arm yeah just today for the painting process so yeah just do some colors in here and now the rims inside there we go all right almost there Here we go, and the last one, you know, like I said, always paint with the biggest brush you can afford to, yeah? Well, that's not gonna screw your paint job completely. So, there we have the basic black paint job. But I was just thinking, you know, that leaving it purely metallic slash black is gonna be kind of boring, so let's try the red. And see where I can go with it. Yeah. So I was thinking just painting the side panels in red. Yeah. And hoping that this is gonna work. 
So maybe just, you know, middle of the hood in here, you know, the middle side of the hood. Yeah, then this. And it's then, back. And then the entire side, including the panels. Yeah, that I applied. No way. So, there we go. And just, you know, slim line in here. Again, as this is a po post-apocalyptic thingy, I don't want it to be too exact. That's why I don't use a tape. <coughs> I have it actually on me, just sitting next to me, but I decided to really just go freehand here. So, yep. And the same on this side, just a little bit on the roof, the pole is in here, and this side. And again, roof. Yeah, just that you know the whoever owns the car that painted this way. You know, but I always like to have a little bit of a story to this build because otherwise it doesn't grip my imagination as well. So yeah. Almost there with that. There we go. The stripes going down. Perfect. This is okay. This is okay. And it's gonna look like it is a metallic color because, of course, the metallic undercoat always works this way. Boom, boom, boom. Let me just grab, of course, the blue because we're gonna paint the window. blue and I just go in here and get that blue on the window there is no much skill involved in that just applying a blue paint where it's supposed to be sitting and nothing else but I like low skill paint jobs yep Everyone probably can agree with me that if you don't have to struggle at every step of the way, you're feeling great about your job. Well, about your paint job in this case. Uh, and now, come on. Let's just do like a little something on the hood itself. Mm. So three triangles, I don't remember what the symbol was from. I know that they were set up in a different way, but we have the three triangles in here. And I'm gonna keep it like that. <coughs> That's perfect. Uh, let's grab that brush. And I need my rough brush. Because now we want my pigment. And of course, pigment is best applied with a rough brush. So there we go. What we're gonna do? Oh, I know it is already red enough, but you know it never hurts to add a little bit more. At least you know there is a lot of metallic plates in here. But mainly I'm thinking about the bottom of it. So yeah, let's just add this into the under carriage. It's gonna look better, dirtier, rustier. Yeah, all of those words work. It's gonna cover, you know, all of my mistakes with paint job. And now I'm gonna do. I know this is a super glue accelerant. Yeah, but it's gonna blow off whatever didn't go anywhere, and the rest gonna get stuck to the undercoat. 
So in this case, it's gonna somewhat work like a varnish, let's say. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. One of those triangles got covered by the rust, which is nice. And yep. Now, 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 do I have any browns in here? Okay, I'll be right back. I just need to grab some brown colors. Okay, so I'm back. I have some brown colors. This one is almost dried. Yeah. Or probably completely dried. Let's just check. No. Yep, this one is completely dry. So throw away. This one is okay. And then I have as well bucket of sand. Well, bucket a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint. The wheels you know the wheel wells with it as much as i can yeah not like you know not like crazy but crazy ish and yep i think that there's gonna be dirt everywhere on that it's a monster truck after all and it's as well helped me cover any mistakes on the wheels yep and you know we i can roll it over so it's gonna Go with any other stuff so let's just go in here as well this rolling over you know it was actually suggested to me by the yeah, but the you know crazy cat person we all know him we all love him yeah so yeah and just add this in here i need to open that to have more surface because i'm gonna now try to just add some sand, roll this over in sand, so it's gonna get stuck into the wheels. And it's a wet paint, so I still have possibility of yes, yes, yes. adding it in. And I think that this is done, yeah? I think that I'm done with it. So I gotta just clean up my desk, grab my spin table and throw it on the spin table. And my God, it's gonna be an hour and a half long video. And here it is, finally done and dusted, yeah. It's quite big, quite chunky, and I love how it turned out. It's probably my second favorite monster truck. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I only have two, so yes. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends and family and whoever else wants to watch it. In the meantime, everyone have a lovely day and take care. Bye!